Welcome to Jam Labs. Today we're making an electrostatic pump out of a flyback transformer and olive oil. First, we performed some sort of f some flow experiments with uh, some olive oil and sawdust to see how the f how the flow behaved and if we could actually make a pump out of it. Okay, go for test. In three, two, one. Ew! Look, what look. is going on? That is so cool. Look. Oh, it sticks up, and then look. What? Watch it's almost himself. like a Lichtenberg pattern of wood chips. A lot of ozone over here. <laughs> you can smell it. Yeah. So once it touches the leaf, then it becomes the same charge as the leaf. So and, and there's not a lot of places out. for it to go. So then it tries to get away from the leaf, and the only place to go is up the bowl. Whoa! So it's like a filter. We, we can remove them dirty from olive oil. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! We've got wood chips and olive oil. We have enormous amounts of voltage <laughs> that will take those out for you. Do you have sawdust problems in your olive oil? We have the industrial solution for you. <laughs> Do not use it on children, small animals, irresponsible adults. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we try to make it pump? Should we, yeah, we should, we, we should pump. pump it. We're going to have to clear out that one though. The hope is that we can create a pump with this that has no moving parts because it's just an electrostatic field, which would mean it would not need to be maintenance as much and it might even be more efficient than other pumps. So uh, behind me here, we're gonna put our, uh, a tube in two separate bowls and connect them up and try to try to transfer some olive oil between them. It's gonna be cool. And then just lean it to the side precisely. Okay. Have you seen that thing in the internet? How long would it take to eat a door? <laughs> Is it a hollow door? Is it solid? Can I mix it with my oatmeal? <laughs> think about it, 365 pieces of a door? It's a sizable amount of door, but you get enough oatmeal. You're never gonna really notice. So which one are you gonna siphon? I don't think it really matters. Let's, oh, this one. Okay. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, this one has less sawdust. <laughs> You don't have a little pump for this or anything? No, I don't have a pump. How about a syringe? No, I don't think I have a syringe. I might have a syringe, but I think this is better. I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you are a daring yeah, wait, man. Wait, wait, wait. Put it back before you go to... I want to see that. We gotta do yeah, that again. We gotta, we gotta catch it. <laughs> Blow into it. <laughs> this is not dangerous at all. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Way to go. That's. Yeah, yeah, Chef, tell me some water. Yeah. <laughs> get that man a beer. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, that perfect. looks great. That looks beautiful. Never seen anything better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oil. So, this is the first like oil transfer pump test. Let's give it a go. Three, Three two, two, one. Delay. Let's see what we're looking at here. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of... I'm seeing a tiny bit of flow, maybe. It's hard to tell if it's actually what's going on. Maybe we need a shorter tube. I would believe that. I mean, that's a hell of a lot of oil. Like, that distance in oil, the resistance of that is... It's huge. It's yeah, huge. bigger. I think it needs to be, like, at max, like, the width of these bowls. It really wants a discharge. Yeah, look at that. It's like having the force. <laughs> it is a force. <laughs> the electrostatic force. You can feel like there's just <laughs> air coming off of this. Rise. The electrostatic force is strong. With this one, I suppose. <laughs> I've never seen a fluid react to my hand in quite that way before. That's new. It's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> exciting. It's exciting. Okay. So let's try it with a shorter tube. Do you have like a bendy straw? Because that would be great. I love bendy straws. <laughs> Not for this, I just want one. I just want a bendy straw. <laughs> From there, we uh, generated, we, we, we tried a whole bunch of designs and finally came up with this sort of inverted U where the nails were very close together. First of all, let's just take a look at that. It looks... Janky. I, I was going to say beautiful, but yeah, janky. Anything you will never not look janky. Okay. Alright. <laughs> create the siphon. Mm, delicious. <laughs> How does air taste? <laughs> <coughs> yep. Interesting. 
Truly, truly a fantastic vintage. <laughs> oh, excellent year. <laughs> the 2006. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we need we need a good ground here. So we are uh, clipping the the red wire up here. <laughs> the extension cord. Uh -huh. And as it just rained. <laughs> An excellent ground. Good lord. <laughs> So there's so few bits of wood in here. I'm gonna very quickly just... Yeah, we have a bridge. Oh, it's flo a town's flown out now, look. Oh yeah. There's a lot coming up from this side, but where's it all going? Oh, oh, it's working. So it's pumping up this side and it's pumping down that side. But look, it's making a bridge out of all the particles. That's why we're not seeing any particles coming down out this side. So it's both pumping and filtering the particles. Turns out the best place to put the pump is in the middle of your tube. Yeah? <laughs> Ooh. The reciprocation. So look how many particles are coming up though, it's a lot. Yeah, we're really pumping some pumping some flow. So now we've inverted the U and we've made a manometer. Um, which is basically we're using using the difference in height between the two levels of the oil to tell us the pressure and from there how effective our pump is. Oh, so we're definitely bulging. I want to see it. Yeah, look at that. We're getting. See, there we go. So the pressure is going up, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so it keeps squirting out a little bit of a drop at a time. Yeah, look at that, it's about to go again. Ready? Ready, ready. So just try and line up those meniscuses. Mm -hmm. Also put it, yeah, outside there. So by lining up the meniscuses of the two oil tubes here, um, we can measure where the oil should be on the right hand side and from there measure the height between them. Uh, Colin, you, the ruler's not quite level. Uh, you overcompensated. I can't see what's going on. There we go. It's up. It's up. That's it. Okay. Can you show me what you did? Sure. So what we've done here is we've calculated rho, the density of the oil we used by measuring the weight of 20 milliliters and that gives us 35.7 grams that's what's in here over 20 milliliters which is equal to 20 cubic centimeters of fluid and then the gravitational constant here where we're going to approximate as 9.81 meters per second squared and the height difference we measured from our pump manometer setup over there is 3.5 centimeters, giving us 0 0.035 meters. So to calculate the pressure that the pump is producing, uh, we can just use the equation. Pressure is equal to rho gh, the density multiplied by the gravitational constant and the height difference. And that ends up giving us, once we work out the units, we get 612.88 pascals of force, well, of pressure. Cool. By our pump. Neat. We see that we got a pressure difference of about 610, 613 pascals, which is not too shabby. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. It, it, it worked. Um, for for this setup, for sure. Yeah. So uh, we got, we got it functional. We did the math and uh, had a great time doing science. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. about as cool as we could have expected. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we can unplug the ground now? Yeah, let's unplug the ground.